When I was a PhD student at the University of Oxford, I was working on quantum properties of light. At the same time, I was very interested in secure communication, in cryptography. And I was lucky because certain quantum properties of light lend themselves very nicely for secure communication. It turns out that if you produce photons in pairs, those photons are entangled, and you can send one photon to one person, we say Alice, and another person, and the second photon to another person called Bob, then Alice and Bob can run statistical tests on those photons. And then they can convince themselves that the photons never had any properties prior to the measurement. So that means there was, if, if we encode zeros and ones into polarizations of photons, that, that polarization didn't exist prior to Alice and Bob measurement. So, but if it was not there, then nobody could measure it before Alice and Bob measured it. So it means there was no an eavesdropper, no entity in the known universe that would uh, uh, capture information that uh, was encoded in those photons. So I thought, well, why don't we just use it for uh, something that is known as the key distribution, uh, which is basically a process which allows Alice and Bob to end up with a random sequences of zeros and ones that later on can be used and to send secure messages between Alice and Bob. And I did that, and of course, uh, with a little bit of mathematics and looking into physics, I was able to show that you can really do it, and it, it can be secure. And the security was guaranteed by this simple fact that certain quantum properties may not exist prior to them being measured. However bizarre it is, it, it kind of works like this. And uh, I was... I have to say, quite surprised to see the whole thing evolving into uh, a commercial proposition. So today there are many beautiful experiments which indeed show that you can use quantum properties of light for secure communication. And uh, among many other places here at the Center for Quantum Technologies at the National University of Singapore, uh, we can demonstrate that uh, entangled photons are very useful for uh, the future perfect codes that we can construct. So the security can be based on quantum entanglement.